So, every day it just ceases to amaze me at the absolute stupidity of people. That, like, just, they live in their own bubble, and every so often that just comes out on Twitter or social media. When they look at something and they're... they're their brain is just such in a completely different world that they completely misinterpret something because they like it uh, th this bugs me this bugs me at the just uh, the stupidity here the the annoyance the the I can't tell if it's disingenuous or if people are I'm I think they're just that dumb but um to to explain what is so aggravating here this is a quote from Senator John Cornyn now Honestly, I knew nothing about Senator John Cornyn. I had not heard of his name until yesterday, but apparently he's a Republican senator who quoted who quoted Benito Mussolini, the Italian fascist dictator, saying, We were the first to assert that the more complicated the forms assumed by civilization, the more restricted the freedom of the individual must become. So I think anyone, anyone with a basic understanding of just like anything at all is aware that the purpose of this quote because again there's twitter like you're not going to write an essay it's just a, a a quick statement twitter's just for quick sentences here and there so context you have to understand context you have to understand why people are saying things because that like that's just basic conversation i guess interpersonal um in or yeah, interpersonal intelligence is howard gardner would call it uh he's quoting mussolini as a warning it's kind of like when you see um when you see when you see people quoting Hitler, like it, it's the internet. The vast majority of humanity, when people quote Hitler, are saying, "Look, look at this bad thing Hitler said," and then they usually compare it to something else. Like they'll they'll quote Hitler in response to someone saying something similar to Hitler, or they'll quote Hitler to as a point to say, "Look, this person is awful. Look at what this awful person is saying." Like, therefore, this thing is bad. Is generally how it works. So to quote someone, even if they're a terrible human being, does not make you a bad person. It does not mean you support what that person is saying. It does not mean that you agree with everything they say. It, it is only to say that this quote is significant. Not good, not bad, but significant to quote something. So what he is quoting here, when he quotes Mussolini, is he is saying that a fascist dictator, they're saying a civilization gets more complicated. We must restrict freedom of the individual, and Mussolini's proud to say, I was the first person to admit that, that we must restrict the freedom of individual as society gets more complicated. Now, of course, again, like anyone, <laughs> anyone should, should be able to decipher that, that Unless the unless the person has a long history of saying yes, I support fascism, then we can assume that the person is probably saying, "Look at this quote. This is significant. I don't support it. It's something to keep in mind that fascists are are talking about restricting the freedom of the individual." It's a quote as a warning. It's not meant to be an endorsement. It is a warning. I spent three minutes just talking about. Uh, this is already going on way longer than I thought because this is annoying me because it's just ah. How how are people taking this as an endorsement of Mussolini? I don't understand that. Like like if I quoted Hitler, I I would assume that um like I I've probably done that before one social media network somewhere. I probably posted like a quote of Hitler, uh, maybe the We Are Socialists one. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it, it, when I when when people post something by like a horrible human being, we are to assume that they are pointing out the significance of this quote and not endorsing it. It's a warning. But look at the comments here. Like, the reason I'm upset isn't because one or two people took it out of context. One or two people are like, oh my god, the Republican Party supports fascism now. Look at all of this. Like, this is the comment section here. I can't believe a sitting U.S. senator quoted Benito Mussolini like he was Abraham Lincoln. I mean, it's beyond politics. We are so lost. Um, dude, seriously, Mussolini. Marco Rubio, I'm calling for a guy to be beaten to death. John Cornyn, hold my beer. Uh, first Trump quoted Mussolini, now John Cornyn quotes the fascist about restricting individual freedom. That should be the hint right there. If you're talking about restricting, because the thing is, nobody, like, I, I, it's very rare that you see a public figure come out against freedom, like blatantly. Now, I mean, quite often you're going to see people saying like, yeah, sometimes like government needs to get involved here. Sometimes like we got to regulate this. Sometimes we got to um, do this for the to protect the people. Sure, you'll have people saying that, but very rarely do they actually come out and say freedom is bad, or rarely, you're never going to find someone that comes out like a public figure with any following that's going to come out and say, yes, I am for restricting the freedom of the people, or putting out a quote that blatantly says we have to restrict freedom. No one's going to say that. They're always going to hide it behind something. So when someone says, someone puts out a quote saying restricting freedom, like that's something that you should be taking, you should not be taking that as an endorsement. It, 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 uh, 
this annoys me. Um, Beto O'Rourke, please retire him. It's pointless. Um, isn't that just like his GOP senator to quote a fascist dictator who was the enemy during World War II? Again, people, like, I have yet, to, we are, what, five comments down, and a single person is like, oh, maybe he was quoting this to be, like, as a warning and not as an endorsement? The sickening part is you're an American citizen, and you're tweeting about Mussolini, who was the leader of the fascist party. You're a disgrace to the office you hold. Fear-mongering won't work, so buckle up, because we the people are coming. That... Now, th there's a certain, like, you, you, you probably know about this. There's a certain type of person that, like, th you say something. Like, you, you post something or whatever, and it might, it, it, it might be something that requires a certain basic level of knowledge. And you'll have the person that, like, the Dunning-Kruger effect type person that thinks they're, they're, they're outsmarting you by saying something. But, in fact, it's that they haven't understood the situation, so they think they're smarter. By trying to be like, oh, like, look at this. Like, I'm pointing this out. I'm pointing out that this person's a fascist dictator, and you're wrong. But the fact is that they, they have any, they're, they're not smart enough to actually understand what the quote was saying. And that is all that what's happening here. It's, uh, it's aggravating. And this is just the beginning, too, of course. Like, my grandparents didn't fight in World War II, so we get out of elected officials, quote Mussolini. Again, actually, they did. Like, they fought in World War II for freedom of speech and freedom in that. And for people to, quote Mussolini, and warn about fascism. Like, oh, my God. This guy's parents apparently, or his grandparents, sorry. This guy's grandparents apparently didn't fight in World War II to, to allow people to, to say fascism is bad or to warn about fascism. Like, are we now to say that every single, like, are we now to say that CNN endorses Donald Trump because half of their articles involve quotes from Donald Trump? Like, is that what we're saying now? Trump also likes to quote Mussolini. If you're going full fascist, just get on with it. Again, how is this even remotely close to full fascist? He's literally saying, look at this quote about Mussolini. It's bad. This, um, this is aggravating. To quote a fascist means you do not believe in democracy. Thus, you shouldn't be a senator for the greatest democracy in the history of the world. Again, like, what? what who's that? No. <laughs> to quote a fascist means you do not believe in democracy. Like, are, I will have to remember that next time people talk. Like, have you ever, like, is to display a picture of a fascist? Fascist also to say that? Because people, like, they say, like, look at Hitler. And then they look, they say, look at Trump. Like, this is the same. Whenever people, um, whenever Trump says he supports nationalism, you always have, um, people putting out Hitler quotes about nationalism. It's like, are they saying, like, yes. <laughs> are they endorsing Hitler there? I don't understand this. I don't understand. That was me, sorry. I don't understand the stupidity of this. On brand, again. Senator Cornyn disagrees with this, right? Again, the... We got this far, and someone is like is smart enough to actually point out and say, yes, the guy is saying this because he disagrees with it. The guy is saying this to point out, like, look at this quote. Isn't that concerning? Isn't that concerning that people, will, like fascists, will talk about, oh, we have to limit the freedom of the individual. Like, that's what we got to do. He's pointing out that. He's pointing out about um, removing the freedom of the individual. He's not endorsing it. He, he is pointing out and saying, look at this. Isn't this concerning? <sighs> And I, I'm I'm just not even going to go any farther because I've gone, <laughs> I've gone like down probably through a, a hundred of these, and they just they, they just get worse. They're they're all bad. But th this is I'm not just talking about Twitter, of course. I'm not just talking about random people on Twitter quoting things. This is from theobserver.com, which I've never heard of until now, but apparently it's a news site that seems to have um, some like it seems to have some following. Uh, John Cornyn, the Republican senator, U.S. senator from Texas, spent Sunday in the ratio barrel. His offense, tweeting a quote. From the well-known and respected thought genius, genius Benito Mussolini. See, well-known and respected thought genius Benito Mussolini. Am I going to say, well, look at this article. This guy is just, look at this, how this guy is praising. Look at how the writer of this article is praising Mussolini. I'm not going to say that because I'm not a moron. I can look and say that is obvious sarcasm. And the interesting thing is, like, again, this guy's expecting you to understand that what he's saying isn't, like, is sarcasm. It's not genuine. And then right off the bat, like, Right after that, it was like, look, this guy's quoting Mussolini. No context, no, no bit of information. It's, I mean, I guess I can criticize John Cornyn for at least um, not being smart enough to understand that if you post a Mussolini quote on the internet, there will no doubt be morons that are just, that will interpret it as we just went through. There will be people that aren't smart enough to understand that if you quote someone, if you quote a horrible person saying a bad thing, it's genuinely assumed <laughs> that you don't. It's generally, sorry, generally assumed that you don't support what that person is saying. And the guy's going on the whole time. Like, here we go. Um, someone 
some guy named Bud Kennedy, I don't know, but he's a, a, a verified Twitter guy, um, retweeted it saying, Senator John Corman appears to, be, appears to be warning us against an overly powerful central government. But it'd help if he clarify. And he, he did clarify. He says, you nailed it. Since so-called democratic socialists have forgotten or never learned the lessons of history and how their ideology is incompatible with freedom, I guess we have to remind or teach them. So what he's saying essentially is that like, go as government takes over, as government is gets more powerful, as government does more for the average person or for the, the citizen, that's what happens. Like you will have to restrict the freedom of the individual. That is what he's saying. That is what he's saying authoritarians do. They're talking, they're talking about, yes, as society gets more complicated, as, um, as government becomes bigger, like we have to restrict the freedom of the individual. That's what he's pointing out. He's not saying it's a good thing. He's pointing it out saying, isn't this interesting? Like is, is this is something that's a warning. Um, in modern day American context with socialism on the rise and with the right increasingly McCarthyist and its open red baiting, posting a Mussolini quote is either a tone deaf move from an applesauce brain ninny or the opening act for a Pinochet revival. Again, says the guy that, uh, uh, like, it's tone deaf, is it? I mean, I, I guess you could say, I guess you could say it's tone deaf because people were too dumb to understand it. People were too dumb to, to really understand exactly what the guy was trying to say. Like, it, it just, it's, uh, it astounds me. The, the people would, like I expect two or three people to do this, but not all of these people. Jody Jacobson at John Cornyn is openly quoting Mussolini, a fascist. Need I say more? Again, like, <laughs> what? The, the, I don't even know what to say to this. Like, qu quoting people is bad. I was unaware of that. Quoting bad people is bad. I don't think that's true. Is quoting bad people bad? No, it depends on the context. It depends on what they're saying. Now he put that without context, sure. But I think the context should be obvious. The context should be evident. Like, he had to explain it later, but I think it should be evident that when someone says, when someone talks about restricting freedom, you can get, like, when someone quotes someone talking about, we need to restrict freedom, and they say it directly like that, it should be taken as a warning, not an endorsement. Thor Benson, just a U.S. senator quoting Mussolini, no big deal. Again, like, what's wrong with quoting Mussolini? There's nothing wrong with quoting, there's nothing wrong with quoting anyone. It's the endorsement that's the problem. Where's the endorsement? I see no endorsement. Now, this is an article from the Washington Examiner that went through. Actually, that's where I got two of these from. Idiots accuse Senator John Cornyn of endorsing Mussolini because everyone is dumb. That is the best title I have ever seen in quite a long time. Uh, Washington Examiner has a few quotes here. They point out a few things, most notably here, Ocasio-Cortez, which I'm not going to make the video about her because I don't like to give her attention unless I have to. But again, this is the one that became the most popular. In case you missed it, while the GOP is calling paying a living wage socialism, a Republican senator full unquoted National Fascist Party leader and Hitler ally Benito Mussolini like it's a Hallmark card. No, he did not. He quoted him. That's it. He quoted him as a warning. And then you have people coming out there and saying like, oh my God, it's, look at this person quoting a horrible person. Clearly they're endorsing him. It's like, no. They, they, I love this article here. I read through this earlier. Truly we are in the dumbest timeline. I'll zoom in a bit more. Yes, truly we are in the dumbest timeline. Like, <sighs> obviously, or, uh-oh. It is obvious the Republican senator used the quote as a way to warn that an ever-expanding government is the first step towards fascist rule. Yes, I think that should be obvious. But people, this is the only article. I mean, there are more out there, but this is the first article I found that like actually pointed that out after sifting through all these people just being stupid. Now, like this is a, this is sign of an echo chamber. When you see someone say, like, you have to understand them. You have to truly understand your enemy. Because the thing is, if you don't follow your enemy, if you don't figure them out, if you don't understand your ideological opponents, you're going to start doing stupid stuff like this. Like they're going to say something, you're going to take it out of context because you're going to apply your own view of the world, which is incorrect. And then that's what happens. Like, you have to understand what your opponent is saying. And that's what's happening here. They are misunderstanding what their opponent is saying because they think the dude's a fascist. And it's like, oh, that shows that shows your ideological echo chamber there. When you think this dude's a fascist because he quotes Mussolini, which makes it interesting. It's like, how did they even know it was a Mussolini quote? Like, interesting. How did they, how did they know? Or, well, I mean, I guess it says it right there. But how, do, sorry, wrong question. How do they know much about Benito Mussolini? Because to, to even bring him up, that's what I mean, not to quote him, but how do they even know about Benito Mussolini? Because to bring him up, is that endorsing him? Is to merely mention him an endorsement? Uh, apparently, like, that's how that works, apparently. If you bring it up, uh, to, to uh, it's like, it's, it's to say that talking about something is somehow... A, bad thing to bring up something means you endorse it and the reason i'm so like angry about this i just wrote an article about this it'll be up tomorrow friday 3 p.m eastern standard time being libertarian.com about like 
the whole guilt by association if, issue. It's like as soon as you even mention something, it's like, oh, you endorse it. You endorse everything that person's ever done. It's like, no, this, this person brought up a quote as a warning. Again, we'll read it one more time just to be sure everyone knows what he said. The whole tweet. We were the first to assert that the more complicated the forms assumed by civilization, the more restricted the freedom of the individual must come. It's, it must become. It's by Mussolini. He is saying, we were, like, he's saying we are proud. Like, we were the first person to say this. Several other people were saying this. We were the first person to say that. As society gets more complicated, as government gets bigger, as, um, and that's what he was talking about when he says complicated civilization. He's talking about socialism. He's talking about um, national socialism. The more restricted the freedom of the individual must become. And yes, Mussolini was a socialist. That's the thing, too. Like, he was a fascist, but he was a socialist. He was the first person to, like, actually be a fascist socialist. He was the first, um, at least the first person I'm aware of, because I'm not an ex... I'm, I'm reading... I, my next big thing to read through is, like, pretty much all this fascist stuff to really understand what they were saying. But that was the thing about Mussolini. He was like, yeah, like, he was actually... He spoke very favorably of socialism, which is interesting. I don't know if he was specifically a socialist, but he spoke very favorably of socialism, and which that's, that's what he's talking about. He's saying as, as things get more complicated, as, as society becomes more complicated, and by that he means, again, um, as government um, becomes more, like, evolve, as government grows, we have to restrict the freedom of the individual. He's like, yeah, this is something we just have to do. Like, sucks, it's part of life. That's what he's saying. And John Cornyn is then saying, look at this quote. Like, isn't that scary? Isn't that, uh, isn't that something we should be concerned about? But, of course, again, people... It's like anyone that took this as this guy is a fascist needs to take a step back and listen and really look. Because the thing is, it's if you're if you're jumping on this and saying this guy is a fascist, how can we believe you on anything when you say fascism is taking over and and um and like Trump is Hitler and all that stuff? How can we take you seriously when you're marking this as evidence that a guy's fascist? And that's the, like, are they like it? That's it. That's it. I, I went through everything I need to say. There's no point in just ranting even further. This, this, this That's this. Don't be stupid. <laughs> that's all I can say. Oh, it's aggravating. It's aggravating. I've screwed up before, sure, but not this bad. <laughs> not this. I've misunderstood what people have said before, sure. But to, to go this far and just be like, oh my God, someone's like a, a senator is quoting Mussolini, therefore Hitler. It's like, ugh. Like, this is proof that the Republican Party party is fascist. Now, I don't like the Republican Party on, on a lot of things. I think they, they mess up. I, I think when it comes to their turn to actually do what they say, they often don't follow through with it. I have tons of criticism of the Republican Party. I, um, I, I do think it's too authoritarian, but that's because I'm quite libertarian. Um, and it's like, that's my thing. Like, I, I have issues with the Republican Party. But I wouldn't call them fascist, and I wouldn't call them, like, far right. I wouldn't call them um, extreme authoritarian. I, I, overall, they seem to be like pretty moderate. It's just that uh, moderate is is more or I am more libertarian than, than than the moderate. But that's what they seem to be. Like they don't seem to be fascist. I don't see evidence of that. So it's just you know, the stupidity of this quote. But yes. Anyway, I went <laughs> after I said I'd wrap it up. I went on for another minute. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you have any uh, any any gold mines, any specific like hilarious quotes of people taking this out of context and being dumb post them in the comments um let me know what you think in the comments subscribe for more and thanks for watching